गवर्नर ऑफ तेलंगाना श्रीमती तमिलसाई सुंदरा राजन जी यूनियन मिनिस्टर ऑफ टूरिज्म एंड कल्चर श्री जी किशन रेड्डी जी श्रीमती सट्टवती राठौड़ मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट एस टी वेलफेयर वुमेन एंड चाइल्ड वेलफेयर तेलंगाना चेयरपर्सन जी एन आई टी एस श्री पी सुबा रेड्डी जी फैकल्टी मेम्बर्स स्टाफ एंड डियर स्टूडेंट्स नमस्कार आई एम डिलाइटेड टू विजिट दी जी नारायण नामा इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड साइंस फॉर वुमेन टू डे आई कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट ऑल द स्टेक होल्डर्स ऑफ द इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर सेलिब्रेटिंग इट्स सिल्वर जुबली दिस ईयर इट इज हार्टेनिंग इट इज हार्टेनिंग टू सी ए ह्यूज गैदरिंग्स ऑफ यंग एंड स्पिरिटेड वुमेन इन इंजीनियरिंग हेयर टू डे आई एम टोल्ड डेट वुमेन ऑफ महिला दीक्षित समिति आर ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट हेयर टू डे आई एम हैप्पी टू नो दैट स्टूडेंट्स बिलोंगिंग टू यर कैर सेक्शंस आर पार्सुईंग हायर एजुकेशन थ्रो दिस समिति आई एम टोल्ड दैट महिला दक्षता समिति प्रोवाइड्स ऑल राउंड सपोर्ट्स टू वुमेन द कॉलेजेस अंडर द समिति डेवलप केयर नर्चर एंड एम्पावर अंडर प्रिवलेज वुमेन डियर स्टूडेंट्स I am happy to know that G Narayan Manamma Institute is providing education to thousands of girl students. This institute has over the years opened up opportunity to many young women to enter the world of technology as a professional. I am told that the institute has won many reputed awards and recognitions. The institute has also been chosen as center of excellence by apple company for mac lab best training which is one of the first few of its kind in the world i hope that gnits will use this opportunity to make students industry ready i am happy to know that the world's biggest international space f challenge in collaboration with nasa international challenge in 2022 was conducted at gnits with the goal of providing relevant solutions to global needs teams of gnits award on medals in this international challenge i congratulate the students who won the medals i am told that the college has taken several initiatives for holistic development of the students such as ek bharat shrestha bharat club women safety programs with six teams of telangana police and promoting fitness culture among staff and students national education policy 2020 aims at making india a global knowledge superpower and is based on the four pillars of access equity quality and accountability a more flexible holistic and multidisciplinary education system can bring out more creativity and enhance learning capabilities of students i would also highlights here that the policy underlines the need of encouraging research and development dear students engineering and engineers have made major contribution in every sector including healthcare agriculture education banking marketing and telecommunication engineering and technology are closely connected engineering has played a big role in technological advancement including computers medical equipment internet smart devices and digital payment systems the role of engineering as a profession becoming very critical in today's world where unthinkable and unprecedented problems need quick and sustainable solutions you have the power to make the world and better place the solution that you find a technology 
that you will create in future should be people oriented and environmental friendly. Recently at COP27, India reiterated its vision of a safe planet in a one word mantra, life, which stands for lifestyle for environment. We have been achieving our climate targets and upgrading them. We are taking new initiatives in renewable energy, e-mobility, ethan blended fuels and green hydrogen. These initiatives can start producing better lasers on ground through technological innovations. The COVID pandemic has shown that people can adopt and learn new technologies quite fast. In fact, the development and administration of COVID vaccines to a large population in a time-bound manner is nothing but a miracle of te technology. Dear students, technology in today's world has social, economic, political, educational, environmental and geopolitical dimensions. It is continuously evolving and impacting every arena. I hope you would come out with innovative technologies for the benefits of public at large and improve the quality of life of the people. You should also think about engineering solutions for the disadvantaged sections, senior citizens, divyang persons and other people who need special support. A few days back, in a meeting with three Sundar Pichai, CEO of Google, I emphasized on the need of universal digital literacy in India. We know that mobile phones, internet and unlimited information have reached every corner of the world. People are using technology like never before, but it is necessary that it is put to productive use, which is possible through digital literacy. Dear students, women have made great contribution in engineering and technology. We have examples of many inspiration women who are heading big companies, have launched startups and are contributing in a major way in all fields such as telecom, IT, aviation, machine design, construction works, artificial intelligence, other areas. Here I would like to mention that sometimes women are not able to continue their careers due to domestic constraints and other issues. I urge you all to overcome challenges that come your way and rise in your careers. More women need to come forward to take up science streams. STEM, that is science, technology, engineering and mathematics is vital to the Indian economy. Nurturing young women as technocrats and innovators can lead the country towards a stronger economy. Women bring different, different perspectives and skill sets in tech fields. Cognitive abilities of women can change the way knowledge and technologies are perceived at various levels. Dear students, be empowered and empower others too. Don't be satisfied just with your own success and happiness. You have a duty towards the nation and humanity as a whole. You should use your talent and technological capabilities for the larger good. Benefits of technology should reach the remotest areas and the poorest of the poor. Technology must be used to remove the social, economic and digital divides. You are the levers through, the, through which we can live into an inclusive, eco-friendly, smart and technology-driven future. In short, technology should be used as an instrument of social justice. I wish you all a very bright and successful future.